ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, is Panso6, and today we're going to play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. And there's a good reason for this. Um, we've been waiting for this to come out backwards compatibility for a while for the Xbox One, and it's finally out. Finally, finally. Now, the cool thing about it, too, is if you have an Xbox One and you previously had an Xbox 360 and you use the cloud save feature, you can pull back your old saves, which is pretty cool because... You know, I spent a lot of time on both of these games, and you know, I beat pretty much everything there is to, to do on it. And um, where's my horse? I had a unicorn. Where's my horse? Okay. Where's my horse? I no longer have a horse. Well, I mean, my good horse. Huh. What the hell happened? That is just bizarre. Yeah, I had a, I got all the horses, but I don't know how to get them back now, I guess. And is that bad? Now, I tried to do this yesterday, um, but for some odd reason, my network didn't allow it. Um, I'm currently streaming this from the Xbox One to my PC using the Xbox um, Smart Glass app on PC, which is pretty cool, so I can play Xbox games on my PC. So if I ever feel like, hey, I want to be a peasant while I'm playing PC, but I don't want to be a peasant, I could do that. <clears throat> That's how I feel when I uh, use my S Steam Link. Like, man, I feel like a peasant today, but I don't want to feel like a peasant. I want to still play PC games. So I plug in my S Steam Link and use the Steam Controller, which, eh, it's all right. Um, but yeah, there might be a chance this could go bad, because last night I tried to do this and... It was awful. It was fuck awful. But yeah, uh, this is Undead Nightmare. I have not seen very many people play this part on um, YouTube, so I figured I'd put this on here. Um, that way you can at least see it. Um, like I said, you're not going to get the best image quality, just due to the fact we're streaming. Um, but yeah, yeah, it looks great. This game, um, when it came out, you know, I did not want to play it because I didn't like Grand Theft Auto that well. You know, I played the Grand Theft Auto games, but I never really... Ah, it's a tiger! Holy crap, no. It's a it's a zombie tiger. You son of a bitch. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's why. I was using the blunder... Blunderbuss is amazing on here. Um... But yeah, when this game came out, it, I wasn't really interested in it, uh, just because I didn't care for GTA, hello, uh, Grand Theft Auto, but this game's amazing. And, you know, I, since then I've been playing GTA, you know, I've played through all the GTAs for the most part. Oh my god! Come on! I just line them up and just murder them all. Hello. Oh, go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, I could do that all day. For some reason, I was thinking it was like dynamite or something you can use, like... Oh, God! I gotta reload. No, 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 no. That's amazing. So, once you beat the game, you can unlock uh, different costumes. Well, you can do that anyways throughout the game, so unlock different costumes for uh, John Marston. Which you do play as John Marston in the Undead Nightmare thing. Um, but once you beat it, and if you play the original game, you know there's something that happens to John Marston. Because this game is supposed to take, like, it's, it's alternate to what the actual campaign has. But, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear this, um, well, you should be dead. Why don't you just die, you zombie prick? But it does kind of take place before and after, I think, the previous games. Oh no, what are you doing? I just want to clear this whole thing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. This is one of the zombie, like, this is a part of the game where there's just a million zombies. 
Like, I've already completed everything, but there's this canyon here, and it's just full of them. For no reason. I don't know why there are so many of them in this canyon, but there just are. Oh, I ran out. Oh, there we go. Shotgun. Now, think about... Oh, God. You're responding. Okay. Ah! Okay. Now, they're, they're like conventional zombies from the Romero uh, movies. Shots in the head. Puts them down or complete dismemberment. Which, in this case, you can shoot them a thousand times and uh, they'll eventually die. But the best way, if you want to get rid of them for sure, are headshots. Now, I kind of wish they would have done this, had a zombie mode on um, GTA V. Just put, like, a big city. Um, just, that'd be so good. I'd play the shit out of it. I'm almost out of ammo. Okay. I don't know why this never came out on PC. I will never know that. But I kind of wish it did. Just due to the fact that the game would sell, like, hotcakes. Dead? Oh. Uh, yeah, you can see it. We're gonna, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it. It's probably the frame right there. Come on, horse! You're gonna get murdered! Oh, my horse is getting hate. This shotgun has range, though. Range for days. I'm not gonna... I just wasted all my ammo trying to murder all those zombies. Hello? Ah! You fucking tiger! What the hell? You killed my horse, you son of a bitch. Well, that's unfortunate. It's still alive! <laughs> oh, I killed my horse. You will have to wait before you can whistle for me. Oh my god. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm just gonna go around you guys. This, that's not right. You killed my fucking horse! No, I have no horse. But yeah, this is probably one of the best games I've ever played, uh, story-wise, and just the game itself is amazing. Um, there's not very many <laughs> games that does Western right. Um, I know there's some other games like Call of Juarez, but this game gets it right. Um, it feels like, you know, Fistful of Dollars, um, you, pretty much the uh, Man With No Name trilogy. Uh, the music's great. A lot of stuff from Jose Gonzalez, but... Everything in this game is pitch perfect. Uh, voice acting, story. It's hit or miss. I mean, there's some stuff that's kind of silly. Hello. I want my unicorn back, damn it. Are you... You're not a... You're not my unicorn. It's kind of cool because my unicorn would like... It would, um... <laughs> when it runs, it has rainbows shooting out of its ass. And I think the way you, you got to get that is um, you find all the horses, then you got to kill the legendary creatures from, like, Chupacabra, um, you know, Bigfoot, stuff like that. And there's a quest for Bigfoot. It's kind of go running off the running gag from, um, hello. Hello, Sheriff. You're dead. You're so murdered. But, yeah, it's running off the, the uh, running gag and... GTA San Andreas, there's supposed to have been a hidden uh, Bigfoot. It's always a bit, it's like a big thing. I don't think there ever was one, but um, in this game, they kind of poke fun of it. And um, same with GTA 5, they have a Bigfoot as well, but it's just fun to see it. One of my favorite things to do is you can get, actually get an achievement, is um, you can tie somebody up. 
Let's see. I don't. I don't think the trains run on this. I'm per pretty sure they don't run on here. But anyways, there's a train station. And I wonder if I can lasso this guy from right there. No. Hello. Wait a minute. Damn it. Ah, did I get him? Oh, I got him. Yeah, you can totally do that. Hey, man, I'm going to tie you up. Yeah, you, but you can uh, take take somebody. On this one, you have to put fe a female um, on the train tracks and um, watch the train make pretty much run them over and they explode, which is pretty funny. Sort of. I, I don't know. It's funny because you get the achievement. It's called Dastardly. But this game has a lot. I mean, it's got a sense of humor. Um, it it does have a serious story, but it knows when to have fun. No, I don't have to. Um, I wonder if I can catch you on fire. I guess not. You're just gonna have to sit there, dude. Maybe I can run him over with my horse. See, we even got tumbleweeds. So that's how you know you have an authentic Western game. Tumbleweeds. I want to run you over with my horse. Oh, that didn't work. Did it? Did it? Did I kill him? Anything you gotta say, bro? Dance! That's it. Sorry, you had to die. Something had to happen, dude. Alright, so... I don't know where to buy ammo and shit. I just don't know where to buy anything on it. It's been so long since i played this. I think this game came out, like, maybe... Six, seven years ago? Which, that makes me feel really, really old. Alright, let's see. What kind of outfits we got? Undead. Legendary undead. Okay, so once you beat it, you have to be the undead Martian, but you can do these things here to unlock that. <coughs> That's fine. Um. Hmm. I just don't know how you change the horses, though. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. I want to go to Paradido. Yeah, we'll go to Paradito. We're going to set our thing to... No. 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 Where's El Prez... You know, we'll go El Prezito. I thought whenever you, like, choose your destination, if you go that, you can... It'll actually show up and you can go from there, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, last night I posted, uh, let's see, we, holy crap. Hello. Um, this is pleasant seeing you guys today. Oh, crap. Um, how are you? Um, I'm going to walk this way. You guys have a nice and beautiful day. Especially you. Now I'm gonna get chase. Run! Oh my god. Yeah, but they definitely. Oh god, no, no, no. I don't wanna die. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I can climb from right here. Wait, just let me up. Ah, uh, really? We're going there. Ah, I'm just gonna have to fall off this thing. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Instead of playing this, we're gonna move over to the original. Did the game just freeze on me? 
I believe it did. Yep, it froze. Wow, that was uh that's undead nightmare. <laughs> um, that's one of the things that's been happening too, is um it does have some problems, but you know I I I think Microsoft's doing great just the fact we're having backwards compatibility. I had this happen a couple times, which that's annoying, but I'm sure it'll be fixed later on. But I just want to show you exactly what to, you know, if you haven't played it or if you're on the fence on buying this game, uh, definitely check it out. Don't let the uh, some of the limitations hurt, hurt the uh, thing. It does run a whole lot smoother on the Xbox One. Um, that is for sure. But, you know, there are some glitches that still remain. Um, and this was one that was out originally on the Xbox 360. But, yeah, if you pick it up today, you'll be able to, if you have to, you can buy the Undead Nightmare Pack along with it as well. So you can get some free DLC right now. But, yeah, check us out, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, if you haven't played it, be sure to play it. It's a great game. I love it. And I know you will, too. I know you will, too. But, again, my name is Panso6. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and help this channel grow. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll love you for it. Thank you, guys, and you have a wonderful day.